Good evening, folks. This is Bill Breeden. Welcome to Constellation Tour number 22. Tonight we're going to go over a small constellation um, that actually is on the celestial equator, and that would be Scutum, the shield. We have Stellarium here running tonight. Um, showing you a 60 degree true field of view, which simulates what you see when you look up into the sky. We also have the date set for July the 8th at about 10.30 p.m. So summertime. And Scutum is best seen in the summer months from July through September. So we've set our our date for early July. So let's talk a little bit about Scutum. Um, but it's it's a little hard to find, although it, you can get in the vicinity of it by finding the Summer Triangle. So we're going to look high up in the sky in the east and find the Summer Triangle. So here's Vega, the bright star, Altair, the one that's a little farther from the other two, and Deneb. And if you look in the summer months, if you look toward the south, if it's risen high enough, you should see the teapot asterism of Sagittarius. So that's important for finding the general area where Scutum is. Now, I'm simulating moderate light pollution from the suburbs. So if it's a little darker, maybe a little easier to find. But Scutum is generally above the teapot in the direction of the Summer Triangle. So let's try to fit everything in, in the field here. Here's Altair of the Summer Triangle and Vega and Deneb. So here's your Summer Triangle. And you're looking toward the teapot. So the Summer Triangle is over here. This is Altair. So you got this big area of sky between the teapot and Altair. So Scutum is going to be in this region of the sky. I believe it's a little closer to the teapot than it is to Altair. So maybe about here. So it's a small, smallish constellation. Let's turn on our constellation lines. And okay, that was a little off. It's more over here, but that's okay. Here it is, Scutum the Shield. And let's see the, the boundaries of it. So here's, here's Altair here of the Summer Triangle. And here is the teapot. So it's actually about about halfway between them. So let's turn on the, the mythical characters and you can see that Scutum is depicted as a shield in the sky. So here's Sagittarius the archer here. Here's the teapot. And here's Altair, the, the alpha star of Aquila the eagle. And here you've got the shield here, right between the two. I'm going to return back to a naked eye view. As you can see, there are no real, real bright stars in Scutum. So let's, let's move to a dark sky site. Let's make it dark. And now you can see, you can see the teapot of Sagittarius here, and you can see where Scutum is in relationship to Altair and the teapot. It's right along the Milky Way here. So it's this square-shaped area of the sky. And now that we're at a dark sky site, you can see a few more stars. 
So Scutum doesn't have any well-known double stars or bright stars, but it does have two Messier objects in it, and one of them is really well known. In fact, I think it may be so well known people think it's in Sagittarius instead of Scutum. So let's find let's find the somewhat lesser known one first. It's an open cluster. It's M26. And let's take a look through the finder. And through the finder, well, actually through your Telrad, you'll be able to see that these other bright star, brighter stars are in the field. And you can see the open cluster is eighth magnitude, and it's listed as 5,000 light years from Earth. So for an open cluster, that's pretty far away. Most open clusters are in the one to 2,000 light year range. Some of them are closer, some of them are a little farther. 5,000 light years is, is pretty far away for an open cluster. I mean, you get up above 10,000 light years, you're in the realm of, of, of globular clusters. So let's look through an eyepiece. I must have moved it. Yeah, I did. I moved my telescope. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. There we go. There's our little open cluster through a 24 millimeter. This one is small enough and far enough away. You can probably put more more power on it. There's there's the view of it through a 19 millimeter, and then through a 13 millimeter Nagler eyepiece. So you can see some real pretty background, or actually foreground stars here. And it looks like three of them are, are within the cluster itself. So that is M26. Okay, we've returned back to our, our naked eye view of the sky. And we are looking out toward the constellation Scutum here between Sagittarius, the teapot, and Altair in Aquila, the eagle. So let's find the, uh, the main attraction for Scutum. The two are almost synonymous. It's M11. And M11 is one of my favorites through my 19 millimeter panoptic eyepiece. M11 is the wild duck cluster. Let's put it in the finder here. It's uh, magnitude 6, and it is 6,100 light years from Earth. And this one, this one's big and bright. So let's put an eyepiece on it. This is the wild duck cluster seen through a 13 millimeter Nagler eyepiece with an 82 degree apparent field of view, which is why you've got all this sky around it. Um, Stellarium's not doing it justice. There are a lot of Milky Way stars in the background here that the program's not showing. When you, when you look at M11 through, through a wide angle eyepiece, such as an 82 degree apparent field of view Nagler, the view is outstanding. Okay, this concludes my constellation tour of Scutum, the shield. Good night and good seeing.